So during the first stage of labor, this is onset of labor to full dilation. And we consider the onset of labor to be once the contractions are causing the cervix to make change. So she may be having contractions for days or even weeks prior to this, but if the cervix isn't changing, those are probably Braxton Hicks or pre-labor contractions. Once the cervix starts dilating and effacing, this is our onset of labor, and this up to six centimeters of dilation is considered the latent phase. During the latent phase of labor, progress tends to be slower. This might be the longest part of her labor overall. And because the cervix not only needs to dilate, but it needs to efface or thin and soften, and the baby needs to be moving down in the pelvis, there's a lot of things that are happening. So we're considering for this, we start thinking about the five Ps, our passenger, our passageway, our power, mom's psychologic response, and mom's position. We also will start considering pain management options, pharmacologic pain management, non-pharmacologic pain management, and during the latent phase of labor, we really encourage non-pharmacologic pain management as long as we're able to do so. This is also a good time for moms to be up and moving, ambulating, using the shower, using the tub, sitting on a birthing ball, all of these things that are going to help promote progress and descent. The active phase of labor is from six centimeters to 10 centimeters or full dilation where there's no cervix left. This tends to be more of a rapid time during her labor process and also a time where coping is more difficult. So this might be a time where pharmacologic pain management is more of a consideration. So she might want to use opioid like IV medications. She might want to get an epidural. And these are going to be things that we'll be considering for her. And this is also a time when we get close to 10 centimeters that we can see what was once called transition. When we're getting ready to transition between the first stage and the second stage of labor, and she's feeling a lot of pressure and maybe feeling like she has an urge to bear down. So during the active phase of labor, in addition to her coping and her pain management, we also need to be thinking about the baby. And so we're thinking about how we can assess for oxygenation. And the best way to know that our baby is well oxygenated and tolerating labor is with fetal monitoring. So depending on if our patient's high risk or low risk, she might have continuous fetal monitoring or we might be doing intermittent fetal monitoring to determine if the baby is doing well.